Hi guys and welcome to Total Technic. Today we're back working on the Audi Q7. This is the 4L model 2005 through 2015 and we're going to be showing you today how to do a pollen filter or a cabin filter change. Let's do it. Okay so the location of your cabin filter. So if you go to the uh, passenger side of the car where your glove box is located and have a look underneath the glove box you will see a little panel and that's what we're going to be focusing on. So next what you want to do is grab this panel and pull it down. There's a series of clips inside. I think you've got these little kind of grips and holes uh, to enable you to pull it down. Uh, but that's what you need to do. Use these holes, lever it down and un uh, unclip these clips. So uh, here's, the, uh, here's the clips. See there's uh, three dotted along the, uh, the top edge just here. So next carefully slide the uh, rear of it out, moving the whole thing towards you. And uh, next we've got to disconnect this uh, little connector here for the light. There's a little uh, tab on the end, just in there, so just push the tab down, give it a wiggle, this, this will come out like so. And then we can remove this panel from the car. So if you have a look underneath, you've got the, uh, the housing for the filter here. And you've got these uh, little um, bolts, uh, little screws, one here and the other located, tucked away just under there. So we want to get those two uh, little screws there removed. So these little screws are a little bit of an awkward size. They're 5.5 millimeters. Now if you don't have a 5.5 millimeter bit, you can also use a 730 seconds of an inch. So now we can reach up and uh, remove this little panel. You find the filter's a little bit stuck in. If it is, you might have to get a screwdriver uh, under the edge uh, just to get you started. And what you'll find is the, uh, the filter as it drops down will get stuck just on the edge of this uh, plastic panel here. So what you'll have to do is kind of uh, flex this plastic panel forward as you also manipulate the, um, the cabin filter in the opposite direction and uh, by doing the two you should be able to slide this down uh, out of the way. And once you drop yours down, uh, don't take it out straight away, just take a quick note uh, on the bottom usually, uh, where you've got all of your uh, part numbers. Uh, you often have, you probably won't be able to see it on the video, uh, but you'll see on the new filter in a second. Uh, it's got a little uh, thing here that says airflow and a little arrow pointing downwards. So obviously it came out uh, from this direction, so that airflow arrow is effectively pointing back towards, in towards the, uh, in towards the engine. Now one thing to be careful of when you are removing and also refitting your uh, your new filter is there's actually this little uh, seal just here, a rubber kind of a foam seal that sits in around the edge to make sure you get a, an airtight seal. And you want to make sure that when you uh, when this drops down you don't pull this out and likewise when you push it back in uh, that this doesn't uh, pop out. So just keep an eye on that and make sure that that's properly uh, inserted uh, all the way across. And once you've pushed it up, what you can do is you can actually push in a little bit further and then you can actually double check that seal that we just mentioned before. So we're now ready to refit the cover. Before you do so, just make sure that the, uh, the foam here is all seated correctly to ensure that you get an airtight, airtight seal once this is put back into uh, location. Uh, one thing to note on the back here, you have this little angled section and it has these three little uh, tabs and they actually locate into three slots uh, up uh, just under the, um, the filter there. So you've got to make sure that these seat correctly uh, when you, when you uh, pass it up and try and lock this into place. And 
and then holding your cover in place you need to uh, put your two screws back in and just tighten them up nice and snug don't over tighten them it's only plastic so now we're ready to uh, put our uh, under panel back into place uh, before we do so it's worth having a quick look at it and the things that you're trying to align at the back because the back's kind of the, the harder the harder side to get in and what you've got at the back here you've got these two kind of plastic lugs there's one right here and there's another just on the other side here and those fit into two kind of square uh, sockets uh, up underneath the, uh, the dashboard there so when you come to uh, align it these are what you uh, you need to align and uh, obviously before we do that we need to get this uh, reconnected before we can slot this back in so if your electrical connection just pushes straight back in make sure it clicks and as you go back in remember trying to locate these uh, these tabs into these square holes once you're happy with that if you're unsure whether they're in this one's quite easy to see the other one's a little bit harder if you push down you can kind of feel whether it's in whether it's uh, in or not that one definitely is so i'm happy with that so now we can close this up let's so just get it aligned and then these just push in And that's how you change the cabin filter on your Audi Q7. If this video has been helpful for you, do us a quick favour in return. Please be sure to hit that like button before you leave us. And also, if you could hit that subscribe button, we have literally hundreds of Audi and VW dedicated DIY videos ready on our channel for you to check out. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you again.